Yeah, I think everybody's excited uh, around the program, within the program. Uh, last year we had our best year ever in Division One with our most wins, and we all feel like we have a better team this year than we had last year. We've got a nice balance of some experienced upperclassmen um, that played big roles for us last year and what we think is one of our most talented freshman incoming classes. So we're working right now on blending those two groups together, but overall we feel like it's the most talented group we've had since we've been here. Well, we've got more home games this year than we've ever had in the past, so it's a great opportunity um, for the locals and the students to come out and support us. We've had great fan support, uh, especially the last couple of years. We've seen an increase in our attendance. We're playing almost all of our games over at the Songa Center, which I know as a fan, um, it's just a much easier place to get to. It's a really nice venue to watch a basketball game. And our guys get really excited to play there. I mean, it's a top-notch, high major Division I college basketball venue. So we're looking forward to playing almost all of our games there and having more home games this year than we've ever had in the past. We got a lot of returning guys who are ready to make bigger impacts than we did last year, and we got a lot of newcomers who are eager to learn and hungry to win, so I mean, that's kind of the culture right now. What excites me about playing at the Songa Center is the fans. Being in an arena like that and having fans cheering for you, I mean, it makes me and makes probably the team feel bigger than what we actually are probably, you know? Like, it just, it's an experience that will go a long way after we graduate. So having them there just helps them out. First of all, let's just talk about the Songus Arena being one of the top arenas on the East Coast, bar none in college athletics. So you get the uh, luxury of feeling, in a, feeling like you're in a big time arena with a small time feel at the same time because you're right on top of the action. And what you're going to see when you come and watch UMass Lowell Women's Basketball is energy and passion. We're going to be disciplined, uh, we're going to be hard to play against, and we're going to defend really well. So those are the basis of what our program is going to be built on. Defensive intensity and high octane offense. Um, it's just a lot of fun. The whole environment's good. The, um, the crowd brings a lot of energy, and it just makes us want to like you know play harder and just play for our crowd. So it's really important that we have a lot of people there. Um, we also have the breast cancer awareness game, senior night, spread respect, which is held by our SAC, and um, better together, which is held by our SAC. We also have um, a day where we have a whole bunch of little kids from different surrounding schools come, and it's their field trip day, and that's probably one of the most energetic, fun loud, just fun game to just be at um, because all the little kids are just so excited to be there and not in school. I think we have a good mix of old to young this year. We have a few seniors who are layovers from our first team last year and we have an influx of new and uh, exciting talent. So I think the Riverhawk fans have a lot to look forward to. We're going to have some growing pains that I think we've, we've taken leaps and bounds from last year, our first year, and we're ready to make some noise in the America East, hopefully. And Red Sea rolling, knocks down the three-pointer from the corner.